Hi, everybody. So as Ajamal I was saying, my name is Maria Cruz. I'm a program manager in the Google Open Source Programs Office. And you might know me from movies like the Community Meetup and the, com the Knative 1.0 launch. Um, so I, I started the Knative Community Meetup in 2020. So it's been, uh, yeah, like two years and something. Uh, the Knative Community Meetup uh, is uh, held once a month virtually, and it's uh, joined by people uh, from different countries, mostly in Europe and in North America. And it became a space uh, to connect, learn from each other, uh, and stay up to date with project updates, and also learn how, uh, what are the main implementations of the Knative project. Um, the meetup also became a space to welcome newcomers. That's uh, one of them over there uh, that was identified by Evan. Um, and also to uh, celebrate 1.0 and the, the new release. And we also held uh, birthday campaigns uh, like once a year or twice a year to recruit new presenters to, uh, to come to the meetup as well. So let's take a look at how uh, the meetup impacted the project. Um, these are a few numbers that I wanted to share with you about the project on YouTube. And what you see uh, right there on the, my left, your right, uh, is an adaptation of a marketing and sales funnel uh, that I adapted to open source. So everything starts with awareness. And this is what the meetup mostly works towards. So you can see how the numbers have been growing. It has had a lot of growth because we really started from nothing. Uh, but there is a lot of uh, interest in, in the technology and people are not only watching the content but also subscribing to the channel to, to learn more about this. And if we uh, correlate this to some uh, other GitHub stats, uh, one uh, metric that I capture is stars because it's the, the most stable one that uh, can speak to this kind of um, work. Um, we see also that the interest that people are showing in the project is also continuously going up. And what you see here is the graphic for the serving repo. Um, and the eventing repo is a very similar graphic, but it caps at 1,000 stars. So um, the meetup has totally been uh, helping the project grow in a way by showing people how they can use the Knative uh, uh, technology in both its components. And while uh, Google was organizing this uh, since 2020, in May of this year, we transitioned the meetup to Trigger Mesh. And now it's organized by Greg Wallace. And um, while there is one organizer, there could be multiple Knative meetups. And that's why I wanted to talk to you about this today and show you what kind of impact these kind of activities have. Uh, and also show you um, a possible way in which the Knative Meetup could go in the future, uh, an area of, uh, for growth that I identified by looking at different data points, uh, sometimes from the CNCF annual report, but also from like under other industry data. Uh, some uh, markets in Latin America that are emerging to cloud native technologies could really uh, be more engaged if they had, for example, content in Spanish. And so I, I just added a few examples, like a couple of examples here. Um, but it's uh, hopefully something that inspires some of you. It doesn't have to be in Spanish, but sometimes it, maybe if somebody wants to organize a meetup in Central European time, maybe that could engage uh, more um, people in uh, West Africa and, and so on and so forth. So. Uh, it's really nice to see you all in person after having two years of like uh, seeing just in the screen. Uh, you used to be like a square uh, <laughs> in my screen and now I see all of these faces live and I'm like, oh, hi, you're this person. And I kind of want to hug you, but you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> And yeah, so if you, um, if you felt inspired and you want to talk more about a uh, content strategy or how to engage communities overall, uh, come talk to me. I will be happy to talk more about this. Uh, and that's my contact information. Thank you.